welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole if you're new here and I post videos every week. That's Norman. Today I wanted to show you how I take my Instagram pictures. I am a like fashion blogger. I love to post pictures with different outfits on. So I'm going to show you how I take photos when I don't have anyone to help me. I thought this would be really helpful for anyone who wants to know how to take their own photos. It's not as hard as it seems. It just takes a little bit of practice. But without further ado, let's get into it. I first want to show you this tripod I have. This one is by um, Icros. It's just a simple, you know, tripod. You can get this anywhere. And you just attach your phone right here and it like opens up so you can adjust it if you have the plus or anything. I really like this. I actually broke it. <laughs> um, I was shooting in a yard and I think part of it fell out. So it's a little bit wobbly, but it does the job, which I really love. And with that, I also use a little camera Bluetooth thing that will um, connect to your phone. So there's a little on switch, on and off switch right here. And I will just turn it on. And then you can take photos. And it's really cool because it really helps it like go on the fly instead of using self timer. Cause self timer can take forever, a lot more natural. So I really like this. I got this with my ring light. I didn't mean to actually buy this, uh, but it came with it. So I was like, okay, let's do this for photos. If you've seen the clip that I'm gonna show you all, I hide it behind like my back or I put it on my side and turn so you can't see the button. Cause no one wants to see you clicking a button in your photo, you know what I mean? I'm trying not to let the air come on because you won't be able to hear me. But I took a couple outfits. Um, usually when I go take my photos in LA, there are so many places in LA to take photos in front of. Way more options than I did in Kentucky. So it usually takes me a while to find like places to shoot in front of because I can't decide. But I usually try to stay close to my car because you can get parking tickets if you're parked on the side of the street, which is mostly what, what I do because I don't want to pay for parking meters or whatever. So that can be hard. Um, yeah, I actually caught a lady giving me a parking ticket when I was like almost to my car, like no joke. So I try to stay close to my car. As you can see, I just pull up to like a random like house or something. I stay on the sidewalk. Sidewalk is for the public. So I usually take my photos on the sidewalk. I don't really walk up to any houses. And yeah, I try to stay really close to my car also because I don't want people to steal my things. So I'm really paranoid about that. I'm like always afraid someone's gonna break into my car. I thought this would look really cute with the like the white detailing because my outfit is all white and then we have the cactus. Ew. Okay, my car isn't on so I can't roll down my window, but you get the point. I really wanted this giant cactus over here, but the lighting wasn't working. I guess it's just not that time of the day yet. But it have been really cute though. So I, I don't know, I might use it. It's kind of shady, but I don't know. So I hope you all enjoyed the first outfit. That one is so cute. I love an all white outfit. I didn't really want to use the cactus because it was just, mm, I don't know, it was too busy for my feed right now, but it was really, really cute. I decided to actually shoot this around the corner from my apartment on this white wall. Just something really simple I wanted to add to my feed. The next day, and I'm still shooting content. It takes me like a couple days. I don't like to shoot too many outfits in one day. So um, this is not the outfit I'm wearing. I'm wearing a different one, but the top is kind of like small and I don't want my boobs to pop out in public. So we're gonna shoot that somewhere else. I usually use this as an excuse to get some coffee when I shoot by myself. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some Alfreds and then I'll be right back. Got my coffee. I got the iced caramel latte with oat milk. It's my favorite from Alfreds. So good. I'm at the parking garage at the Grove. Lately, I've been loving the um, vibe of like photos in parking garages. That sounds so weird, but I don't know. I've just been liking it lately. I think it looks like different, unique. So I am in the parking garage and I'm gonna take some photos right up here. 
I parked on a level where there's not that many cars, so hopefully no one will like walk by or bug me. I'll show you. There's like kind of a lot of smog out today, so um, I guess it'd be cute. I don't know. I guess it'd be okay. I don't know, but I'm gonna change my top. I'm gonna wear this little cute like um, satin top from RUMI. So luckily I parked where no one is, so I can change. <laughs> tips for when I'm shooting. I like to angle my camera up. I am a very short person. I'm 5'3". So when I take photos that are just angled level, I look really short, like shorter than I actually am. So when I angle it above, I looked way taller. My legs look longer. I just look way better. So usually when I'm doing poses, I usually just like move around. I don't really know if I, I don't really do any specific poses. Also another tip is always use your back camera. That is the most high quality part of your phone. The front camera I think makes you look um, way more bold and kind of like not as natural as the back camera. But if that's what you like, go ahead and do that but I just prefer the back camera for me just because it looks more um, real, like more real life and on the go. That is all I have for you all today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to turn on my post notification bell so you never miss a video from me. And also don't forget to check out my Instagram so you can see how I style my outfits. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.